everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. And today I'm bringing you a video that I had so much fun making. I had so much fun editing. Part of our aquatic experience was getting fish, trading fish. We knew we'd be having fish in our hotel room, so we set up some tanks to keep the fish safe. So why don't you come along and check out how we set up our fish in our hotel room. Now partway through, there was a little bit of a fish emergency. Um, right out of the tap, we were getting a 2.0 ppm for ammonia and our fish started to die right in front of us. So we had them switch things up a little bit and I'll show you what we did there. And I've never had a video that had so many bloopers, <laughs> but I've also never had a, a video that I made that was so much fun. So at about nine minutes and 30 seconds, nine minutes and 45 seconds, I added the bloopers. I just had to. I've never felt the need to do that, but this one, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics and today we are with One Fish Two Fish ROC and we're at the Aquatic Experience and we are so excited. So we're staying in this hotel room for the weekend but we have some fish that we need to set up for the weekend. We sure do. So we are going to show you how we're doing it, how we're going to keep them this weekend, keep them healthy and alive until we get home. Yes and where are we getting those fish from? New York Gold. Room service, even. And I'm real excited. I'm getting a couple of his goldfish. And what are you getting? I'm getting a bunch of his Supercross guppies that I have fallen in love with from the first time I saw him post them. So I'm very, very excited about those. So let's take a look at what we're doing and all the different gadgets we have set up to get our fish nice and comfortable for the weekend. Indeed. What do we have here? So in order to power all this, we're going to start off with our powerhouse strip from ADJ. There's a link below. Got this information from One Fish, Two Fish ROC about a year ago. And this is gonna allow us up to eight different extensions so that we don't have to keep going to the back and try to figure out what's in what. Yeah, that's right. We brought some plastic tubs, otherwise known as critter keepers. Critter keepers. Mm -hmm. And this is a large one, and these are two mediums. They each have sponge filters inside. I know these two are not seasoned. They are not, don't have any beneficial bacteria whatsoever. Does yours? No, mine is brand new out of the box. So what we're gonna do, and we have a, a thermometer there. We're gonna get some water. We're gonna add some water conditioner. We're gonna get them in these tanks, and we're gonna monitor their temperature. Try to keep it around between 70 and 80 degrees. Yep, and New York Gold is on his way to the aquatic experience even as we speak. How are we powering our airlines? Let's take a look at one fish, two fishes. This is the infamous USB air pump uh, that Corey from Aquarium Co-op has available. These things are marvelous. It actually comes with, it has the little outlet cube, and I have to just plug it right into the power source and turn the switch on, and then lo and behold, you have air. Uh, the other nice feature is it comes with a little carabiner so that you can hang it up above your tank, and uh, you don't necessarily have to have a check valve in that case if the pump is higher than the water. All I'm gonna do is take my airline that I've trimmed, and I'm just going to attach it on here. And another little trick you can do if the airline uh, on anything doesn't seem to want to fit, heat it up with a blow dryer, and it makes it real, real pliable. USB airline. What are you using over there? I have a USB airline that I got when I was visiting the new store Super Cichlids. So if you haven't seen that video, check out that video in the corner. Super Cichlids is a brand new local fish store in my area, and I got this Cobalt. This is amazing because it also has two airlines. All it does is need to be charged. It works with or without power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in so it's not to use the battery. This is what I use for the car ride to get Sunkist here to enter her in the show. This is what I'll use to keep her alive going home. Cobalt. So now we know we have electricity, we have air. What else do we need, Elizabeth? Water and light, of course. Um, I did bring a couple of my little spare night crew lights um, this is just the cheapest one they have out there these are handy to have um, it's the night crew classic i believe the smallest length 
And I, I don't know. I keep a lot of extras. Uh, they're handy for quarantine tanks, a situation like this. Yeah. Let me tell you how bright these are. Do you oh, want to no. turn yours on? I'll turn mine on. These yeah. are power little powerhouses here. And wait till you see. That's that's the night mode. Wow. Yeah. And Look then at there's that. the daylight mode. Look at that. Yeah. So if you're interested in these night crew, I'm going to put an affiliate link below. Mm -hmm. I got to tell you ahead of time, if you click on that link, um, I'll profit with a couple pennies if you go ahead and buy it. Now we need some water. We noticed that this water had a very chlorine chlorinated smell to very it. strong so we're letting it sit for a little bit and we added some this is the prime here is that i know there are a lot of products on the market this just happens to be the one that i use and you'll see yeah i wrote safe on it because there's also a powdered version this is the liquid version is called prime the powdered version is called safe and it's very concentrated so i just put little tiny amounts down in here and then i shake in some regular water in it and I just keep two, three bottles on hand around the house at all times. Okay. So here you go. I'm going to hand that off to you. Here we go. We're going to put some in. So now we can pour this water right in the tank or we can siphon it in slowly. If we had substrate and we're going to be uh, keeping plants alive, we'd probably do it a little slower. So now it's time to turn on the power and see if we have air pumps. You do. Sweet. Hear how quiet that is? So now we're just waiting on our delivery. Yep. Hey! Oh hola. my gosh! All right! Come on in! There you go. How was your trip? I mean, it was great. Smooth. <laughs> this one with the tape is your super cross. Is this the guppies? Ooh. These are the guppies. These two, you'll see one with... These are, should be the Ryukin. And this is the bubble eyes, the um, telescopes. Oh, very nice. And this, you said you wanted some java moss and a coconut with weeds on it. Yeah, or whatever you so got, this sure. Is, this is for the tanks. This is a coconut with plants on it uh. and some java moss. So yeah. what's in this one again, the telescopes? <gasps> oh my gosh, these are Ooh. gorgeous, Donnie. Oh. Look at these. Oh, is beautiful. this like a calico telescope? That? Yeah? This is, should be just a red oh and gosh. black. And there's a panda in here. Well, for now, it's going to change to Aww. orange. See the black and... These are beautiful. Oh, they're so cool. How old are they? Three months, four <gasps> months. Oh, they're beautiful. Should I float them? They Hit feel it with colder. Your magic gun and see what temperature it is. If, well, it, make if sure it's close, you... they're goldfish. They're horny. If, they, if it's even close. This is 71 and this is 74. Yeah, float it. Plop Three and drop? Degrees. I would plop and drop. Plop and drop, baby. All right. Oh, my God, they're beautiful. So cute. Okay. Oh, look at oh, look at oh. those. Oh, they're beautiful, Donnie. Look at all these. So these are all the Supercross oh my guppies. Gosh. Oh, and the male's already chasing a female down there. Oh. Really pretty fry. So these are all differing ages, obviously. So I've never gotten anything like this in like a hotel room or anything. I'm used to <laughs> picking them up. At, so they're going to go in here. They're going to color up beautifully. I mean, I've really enjoyed. Oh, Donnie, oh, thank so you. Exciting. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, my goodness. That's a heck of a start of a little colony here. All right, so let's get out of the Ryukin. Ooh, so now what makes it a Ryukin? They don't have the cuddle fin? Uh, no, they're supposed to have a big hump over the head. These are a little bit of a failure, or they're too young yet. So they're supposed to have oh, they're pretty. off the top of the head. Oh my, a big hump, look at how beautiful. They really don't have a good hump at all, but they make good fantails. Oh, they're beautiful. So I like the color. This, mm, I guess I'll, there's two metallics. And that one's a matte. Well, it's okay. really nacreous because it has some metallic scales. You see like that one metallic yeah. scale right there? So it's not 100% matte. Oh, man. Oh, my and the parents were mixed. mixed. There was a nacreous mom and a metallic dad. Oh, wow. So that gives you 50-50. Gives you 50% metallic, 50% well, so nacreous. This, awesome. this was so, so kind. And I don't want to mix the two. Now, can they be kept in the same tank? Sure. For, as far as a display goes? Oh, my gosh. Oh, look at that. The only issue is they, uh, you know, they might breed with each other, which I already did. I already crossbred the uh, telescopes. Hi, and the baby. I have a whole batch of what them. Going. What's that all like? I mean, Actually, what do you get? You, the telescope eyes aren't dominant. The regular eyes, like the Ryukin wow. eyes right there, okay. yeah, are uh, So you don't get any bubble eyes out of it, mm -hmm. but you get longer finish. Oh, wow. So you get the long fins of the telescope with the body shape. Oh, this is going to be. These are beautiful, Donnie. It's almost Donnie. like a veil tail. Mm -hmm. This is a coconut 
but it has like sabwasetang on it. Oh yes, that's right. You find them on the beach, correct? Mm -hmm. What do you call oh, it? Shore wow. shopping. Shore shopping. Okay. These fish are in trouble. You gotta get rid of this water. Oh my, that male's in. He's just... <laughs> okay, so we have a bit of an emergency here. We thought we were prepared with everything that the tap water was going to be filled with ammonia. Look at this, the tap water, right out of the tap. So of course we went out to the store and we bought some fresh water and we're doing 100% water changes and we're going to get these fish into safe water again. So thank you, Elizabeth, Donnie. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're working on it. I'm the water guy. So should we have the water quality issue fixed? <laughs> fish are doing <laughs> good. Here we go. Here we go, day one of the aquatic experience. Yeah. I am here with One Fish, Two Fish, ROC, and <laughs> Donnie from NY Gold. No, you're on. Is this One Fish, Two Fish, ROC? Oh, yes. New York Gold. Room service, even. What? Hey. <laughs> that that was rough. <laughs> we have to do that over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my goodness, have you ever had fish delivered to your room? Hmm. We are. Yes, we certainly. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice place set up for us with places to sleep, fresh air to breathe. <laughs> I can't keep a straight face. <laughs> I assume you can edit all that out. I can turn the lights off and then we can turn the lights ah, on. I like that. Yeah. That's correct. Uh, I believe a lot of people kind of took an early day today. Uh, if any bosses are out there listening to this, really, <laughs> uh, sorry about that. But nonetheless, I think a lot of people took an early day off to come join in. Something. <laughs> Save something for the car ride home. <laughs> Oh, save, oh the save the charge. Breathing fresh air in her water. No, is it fresh air? <laughs> Oxygen. <laughs> We're a little excited. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got to tell you ahead of time, if you click on that link, um, I'll profit with a couple pennies if you go ahead and buy it. So, and I would appreciate that. So yes. I don't get fired from Amazon again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you edit laughing out? I don't know. We're, just, we're doing a lot of laughing, everybody. Sorry. But this is a blast. This is yes. a blast. And look at, I think uh, Elizabeth is going to be getting some shrimp. Well, <laughs> either that or I just brought a little shrimp net because you never know. So here's the net I brought. <laughs> what are you looking to get? <laughs> so yeah, big difference here. Should I actually try to pick it up and pour? Um, you could... <laughs> You could, Susie Q. Wait, where do we go? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do this to bring towels. Oh, yeah. What a gift. Well, I don't want to use good hotel towels for this sort of project. I want to save those for the showers. Yes. All right. And Susie Q pulls out the good hotel <laughs> towels. Oh, there you go. I guess I'll be calling the front desk. Yeah, see how there's a days. hole here? Yeah. Okay. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, as would you, our listening audience. <laughs> <laughs> Loud. <laughs> All right. Is what am I saying again? Oh, <laughs> oh. You can put the helicopter away. <laughs> oh, we found him! That's right. <laughs> Usually it's a pizza guy in the pornos, not a fish guy. <laughs> That's yeah, your said... nightmare. Oh my. So I wonder when he's going to show up. <gasps> Who is it? Fish delivery. Ooh. I think it's New York Gold. Oh, Miss Susie, it's for you too. <laughs> Yay! Ah, this is awesome. Smooth. <laughs> we have fish. Some, uh -huh. some other crap. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so you can I tell them that I can't see shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, believe me, I edit. I Shut edit. the F-bomb. F-bomb. So thanks for coming along and checking out this crazy video. I had so much fun making it, and I will see you next time. <laughs>